If you're a big fan of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, then you probably know about the Pit of a Hundred Trials. It's an extremely challenging mode slash section of the game that a lot of people love. And what if I were to tell you there is now a Pokemon version of that? Welcome to the Pokemon Pit of a Hundred Trials. In this, we start with three random Pokemon and every floor has a trainer we gotta fight. And of course, as we progress, we can get items, there's gonna be heal floors, and the potential to get new Pokemon all the way to floor 100. So let's see if this fusion of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Pokemon for the ultimate Pokemon Pit of Trials mode is as dangerous and as difficult as people said. So here we are, I guess, am I Steven? I, you come in with a random, like, character as well, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm just gonna put... I'm gonna leave it all. I'm just gonna leave it all. We're... Our first Mon can be Rayquaza? Balloon, Paradox, Dragon. Wait. I want Rayquaza. Choose my second Mon. Okay. Of course I'm taking Rayquaza. How am I not going to? Um, is Iron Bundle really good? I mean, Paradox Pokemon are probably pretty good. Like above average, right? Right? Like if we take them, we'll take Iron Bundle. I don't think I've ever really messed around with uh, Gen 9 like that. So let's let's try that. Dratini. I do love my Dratini, but I think I'm going to take Lampin. I think I'm going to take Lampin. I think that's our three. That's our team. That's a dream team. Iron Bundle. I'm going to bring all the snacks and stuff in his little electronic baggie. Rayquaza dominating. And then Lampin being our light source, you know. He chills with us! Yo, what's up, dog? Looking restless for something. Can we see? Okay. I'm loving these screens so far. Sorry, what's our team looking like? Um, attack down, speed up. Okay. So we got Twister, Ancient Power, Air Slash, Dragon Ascent. Okay. All right. Okay, and then... Wait. Battle move... Contest moves. There's gonna be. There could be contests on here. Defense up, special attack down. Oh, my boy only got present. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have taken Iron Bundle. <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't have taken him. Okay. Well, we'll we'll deal with the actions of our consequences, and then a pretty basic move set over here as well. And it looks like they're in all in master balls. Nice. Okay. This sounds. Wait, we can take our. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna let's play. Let's let's. Yo, what's up, first trainer on the first floor? You probably weren't expecting a Rayquaza. Oh, 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 Ethan, Ethan, I'm about to make you jealous for the rest of your childhood oh buddy oh oh buddy oh buddy i'm sorry dog oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez guys oh oh we already have an xp share which is awesome hello sand okay man my biggest struggle on this is that i just don't remember typing I think it's like water is like water ground. I'm just gonna use Dragon Ascent because it's such a strong whoa. I love that. It's such a strong move. So we're just gonna rock it like that. But man, I haven't even said hi to you guys yet. How's it going? Welcome back to Nerd Comedy Gaming. How are you guys doing today? It's good to see you. We're trying all these different games, bro. We tried uh, Emerald Rogue recently too and that beat the boopies out of me and it was a crazy game to play and now we're trying this one on top of our pokey road so i hope you guys are enjoying it we're also doing a 50 day challenge i think with this one is day six i think i'm almost at a week or day yeah i think it's day six so i hope you guys are enjoying the content so far we're gonna see how this pit of a hundred trials works Ooh, okay what's this forces the user to switch if its stats are lowered okay a very bitter herb that revives the fate. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Oh, we take both. 
Okay, never mind. Let's go down. Floor two. Nice. I'm, I'm really interested to see how this game goes for us. Ray, having great quays is crazy. We're gonna get pretty far. Where we, I think we, we might be able to beat the 100 trials on our first try. Oh, his dad and his little kid, Finn. Ah, oh, bro, you better close your, your child's eyes, bro, because they're about to see Space God right now, brother. <laughs> Oh no. Let's see if we can conquer the Pokemon Pit of Trials. I'm honestly really excited for this. I actually really like this style. I think a bit more than how Emerald Rogue works. Not sure yet. But of course, this game is filled with constant trainer battles on each floor, and I don't fully know any main strats to try or do, or what's to even come. If there's like special gym leaders or anything like that, I ain't got a clue. We're just gonna have to find out together. These first few battles though were pretty simple, but there was like an Azelf in one of them, so I guess these trainers can also have legendaries or mythical Pokemon, which is a little scary. I wonder if I would have turned off that setting beforehand, if it turns it off for me and the enemy trainers. I'm not sure i'm gonna have to test that but we make it to our first pit stop so we've made it to our first pit stop which i think is every five floors and we've gotten some interesting items i want to do one thing before we do anything else i got an item which i could be wrong i'm you know what i'm saying i'm pretty bad when it comes to a lot of these in-depth pokemon things protects the holder from secondary move effects so if i give this to Rayquaza. Oh, it's already holding an antidote. Yeah, swap. I didn't even know they were holding items. Um, his dragon ascent shouldn't affect him, or is it from opposing like Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe somebody could help me out. Take. Oh, you had an ether. Okay. What else did you have? Take energy powder. Okay, you guys don't need that on you. Um, and then let's see what let's see what we have here. So we can get TMs, TMs 100 plus, TMs 200 plus, evolutions, vitamins, megas, mints, gems, Z moves, forms. Whoa! Yo, there's quite a bit. We're broke. We only got 2k, but that's kind of crazy. You can tell me I can get mega mega Rayquaza by just having that cash money. We need 20k for that. Okay. Evolution stones as well. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. TMs. I like that. I like that. I don't know what should be on our our homie. Um, the iron bundle. I don't know what oh, our party's been healed. Okay, cool. Um, TMs 100 plus. Okay, these are a bit more on the expensive side. I see that. I see that. Okay. Stealth Rock. See, I love Stealth Rock. Stuff like setup moves like that are like my favorite, bro. I've grown to love it because of Poke Road. I just think it's so, so good. But honestly, it's only floor five. What can go wrong? I can't imagine us losing within the next five floors. I, you know what I'm saying? What could go wrong? Like this little girl in a floaty in a cave. What are you doing? Where are your parents, Wendy? And what is that? Petra? What is a Petra? I've never seen that before in my life. What is a Petra right? I need to look up a Petra right. Poison gas? Who are you? Hold on. Hold on. And now I'm poisoned because of Petra Runt. I'm looking this up. Hold on. Quick break. Petra Runt, number 1025 in the Pokedex. It feeds others toxic mochi that draws out desires and capabilities. Those who eat the mochi fall under Petra Runt's control, chained to its will. Poison Ghost type. I've never seen you in my life. So was this a Pokemon that was DLC for, uh... What's it called? Scarlet Violet? Yo. My life has changed. What is that? I haven't done the DLC for Scarlet Violet. Or even beat Scarlet Violet. Because of the how glitchy that game was. It made me rage off it. Petrolant. Alright. I will remember you. I never beat Scarlet and Violet because of how glitchy it was. So I definitely didn't touch that DLC either, sadly. But 
cool to see some of the newer Pokemon. Now these floors were business as usual for battles, nothing our team couldn't handle. I mean, sometimes I would swap out Rayquaza, but if I'm being honest, Rayquaza handled everything. Except for one battle where I did bring out our Iron Bundle, which it ended up getting confused and... Well, my Iron Bundle is confused and he's about to die. For the first time I take him out, okay, thank you. He hit himself twice, bro. Let's not do that, Iron Bundle. We need you teed, buddy. Thank you. See, we know you can do something. You're a good robotic bird, buddy. Like, what's, what's going on? Penguin bird thing. Uh, you confused me. I really thought my Iron Bundle was going to mess it up there for the team, but this upcoming floor gave us some new things to experience. It actually had three different trainers on it instead of just the usual one. We were able to take care of them pretty easily, but still interesting to see the random increase here. So this is the first floor we actually had three trainers, which is kind of crazy. I wonder how many trainers would be like a max on a floor. Having three trainers on a floor is kind of interesting. I guess, we're, you know what I'm saying? We're starting to get up there. There's only floor eight because, uh, Every floor also equals what level your opponent's Pokemon are going to be. So they're all level 8. I'm on floor 8, uh, which is kind of cool. I like that. That's pretty That's pretty pog, you know what I'm saying? But very interesting. And I'm also noticing the type slash like rock where the move is, like under the PV. It's a different color sometimes on different Pokemon. Is it telling me something is strong against something? or not strong against something? I can't tell. Because I think I've seen it as like orange, red, green, and just white. I don't know if it's just changing. I don't think it's changing colors on me. I guess we'll... It, I mean, that wasn't a very effective move, you know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll have to double check when we fight something where like a flying move would be effective and see what color it would be. Because I think it does tell us very subtly, you know what I'm saying? Which I think is actually pretty cool. So everything right now is white, except for this is green. And it is a flying type. And rock is good. So I think I think it does. That's cool. It tells you whether or not something's super effective or not by color. White is neutral, green is super effective, and red is not effective. Um, that's cool. I like that because I'm really bad at Pokemon games. So that kind of helps my dumb little brain. Ooh, a rare candy. We'll take that. Paralyzed heal. Beautiful. And another one of these. Uh, okay, cool. And now we're on floor nine. How many trainers we got? We got one right there. But we just got one on floor nine, so maybe this guy's a big fella. What's our party looking like? Maybe we heal them a little bit. We got some we got some potions. Maybe maybe we, maybe we do a little heal. Maybe this guy's a little maybe he's not one to mess with. Because technically full, floor ten should be another heal spot. Let's find out. So we finished floor nine, and then of course floor ten was another pit stop, but I did something incredible. Incredibly stupid. I accidentally clicked left. Like I, I tried to go down and left and I just went left and I left the heal spot and I didn't pick up the other two items. Oh no, <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, bro, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I think we're probably fine, but there was a third character now. There was a, there was a dude in the middle. What was he about? But now I gotta deal with Alberto over here, like... Ah, oh, bro, that's so... Oh, that is so annoying. And I'm low on PP on moves too now, because we just went through five... Oh. I'm so dumb. I can't believe I just did that to myself, bro. If you plan on playing this game for yourself, don't do what I just did. Because if we are on a higher section of this game, that probably would have costed the run. But we still used some potions and elixirs on Rayquaza and just continued on until we met this ridiculous kid. Why does this child have Articuno? Who is your parents, bro? Why does this kid have Articuno? That is the craziest thing for a child to have, but it just got slammed. So Noah, you saw, and a shaman? Why does it also, why do you always have uh, always also have a shaman i'm so if you have a third legendary kid you are you gotta be like you know what I'm saying a part of a rich family because that is crazy 
that is crazy. Let me find out. Let me find out you pull out a Mewtwo or something. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, kid. Okay. A Sceptile. That's... That's fine. That's fine. That's normal. That's normal for you to have. It's a starter Pokemon. Because you're just starting out your adventure. Child. What's up with bros? What's actually up with bros? Let me see. Like... He's not real for that. Trainer Noah. Look at you, nerdy kid. Why do you got... Get out of my face. Don't talk to me. It's kind of funny looking back at my footage because I definitely already fought like an Azelf and Urshifu earlier, but I guess it just never clicked in my tiny brain. But I know to start a Kuno with this child. Either way, we continued through these floors. Nothing too crazy to mention. The battles were getting a bit more difficult. I can slightly feel it. Not everything was getting one shot, but still very easy to deal with overall. I mean, it wasn't until floor 19 we actually experienced the faint on the team. I definitely just lost Rayquaza just because I didn't feel like healing him before this because the next floor is a heal floor anyways, so I'm not really tripping. I don't think Guard of War is going to sweep the next two. I know my lamp is asleep right now, right now, but it'll probably wake up, right? It'll it'll probably wake it'll It'll wake up. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, it'll probably wake up and we'll be fine. We're fine. See, we're okay. We'll go on. We we'll go on to 420. We'll heal. It's okay. I wasn't too. I wasn't tripping too much. Maybe I should have just so Ray Crazy gets a level. But it's whatever. It's fine. We're okay. Now we can actually see what this guy is. Ah, move relearner or egg moves. Egg moves. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's what that middle guy is about. I was very... Where's our game going? <laughs> our game just... Just bounced. It just called it. It just called it a quits. That's actually insane. I still don't really... Like... I'm not sure exactly what type of moves I should try to put on some of these Pokemon, like if I should even put anything. Um, like, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like they're kind of fine with whatever they're learning right now, to be honest. Um, game? Uh-oh, let me refresh. Oh, that's kind of cool. We have a continue, wait. Since my game glitched, it technically didn't save until floor 15. We were on floor 20. Oh, man. Because the saves are every five levels. I wonder if I can make that more consistently. Every floor during warping. Okay. I, I like that better because that, was, that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so lame. That is the craziest thing to happen, man. I can't believe we got reset back to floor 15. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm also in a mode mentally where I'm like maximizing all my time in a day for these daily YouTube videos on top of all my other life priorities. So it did annoy me slightly to have to reclimb these floors, but we're good. We keep it moving. One thing to note though, is the Pokemon and trainers I fought going back to floor 20 were actually different. And if I'm being honest, felt a bit more difficult than my first time around. Guess I was pretty lucky that first time because these floors were actually giving us a bit more problems than usual. We did make it through floor 20 though, and it was off to the next set of five floors. I didn't really do anything besides heal at the pit stop because I'm not sure what might be the best course of action to do with money this early. Should I just be saving or should I just be spending? I don't know. But these fights weren't too bad. At this point, it starts to feel more like actual mainline Pokemon battles, if that makes sense. Like the trainers you'd fight walking on routes between towns where they're usually around your level and sometimes it can be a little bit of a close call. But we do make it through these battles and end up on floor 25 with something special. So we've actually made it to floor 25 hard carried by Rayquaza and we get our next random Pokemon um we can get Koridon Nagandel and Ma 
and the Sinistra, which also is like a Gen Niner. Now, I don't want to be too ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Have like all these legendaries and stuff and make it like that. So I think I kind of want to go Sigalith. I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to go Sigalith. Um, I don't really want a victory belt. Pinsir. Uh, I'm also not the biggest pincer guy. I think I'm going to take Sigalith. Yeah, give me Sigalith. I don't want to be too crazy, but I think Sigalith would be fine on the team. Let's see this. Look at him. What item you got? Give me it. Yeah, give me that berry back. Let's see what you're rocking. Psychic flying, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of with it. Um, horrible nature. Hypnosis, air cutter, side beam, whirlwind. I like that. I like that. I think we can. I think we can. We can rock with you, buddy. I think we can rock with you. I don't. I don't mind it too much. I just don't want to be too broken. We probably could have taken like Coridon or the Nagandel for sure, but we want to. We also want to just enjoy our adventure. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy our adventure of absolutely ridiculous floors of pokemon and we're actually gonna cut the video there for today we made it through the first 25 floors of 100 i think we'll continue this as like a maybe mini series maybe the next video we'll see truly how far we go until we lose or see if we beat it but it does take a little bit to get there and uh, trying to upload these videos daily i don't think i'll have the time to continue because i think we honestly can make it pretty far with our team so it's gonna take a little bit too long so i'll try to get another video out for this if you guys want to see it and see the next 25 floors or 50 floors and all the way into the end you guys let me know down below but thank you guys so much for hanging out i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow peace out Dab on.